Arena's big changes on the way. Another gorgeous day out there. We did set a few records, and we're going to have those coming up for you in a little bit. But we are bracing for, as we said, change. What does that mean? Cooler conditions, cloudier conditions, and a chance of rain. We'll break down the timing for of it in just a minute, but first we're going to take you outside to the Santa Monica Pier. A few people out and about, still mild out there, very pleasant, and we did see a little more cloud cover roll in. You're going to see it right here on satellite radar. The high clouds streaming in ahead of low pressure that could potentially bring not just cooler temperatures and cloudier conditions, but maybe a chance of rain. We've got a few chances on the way. As we get a look at satellite radar, you're going to see rain sitting offshore to our north, eventually sliding into northern California, then the central coast, and then potentially getting to us a little later in the week. And a little cloudier, as we mentioned, a little cooler temperatures, eventually getting to below average territory as we head toward the weekend, and the rain producing maybe a tenth of an inch to half an inch of precip. So we're going to have more on what to expect and again when to expect it in just a bit. Rick, back to you. All right, thank you. Love those places, especially here in California where you can enjoy mm -hmm. it more than in like any other state. Yeah, right? yeah. exactly. Like today. Beautiful. Like today or yesterday or yeah. the few days before those days. But, but <laughs> it's coming to an end. Always a but. Yeah, always a but. Thank you, Rick, uh, for shoot. letting us know. I, I didn't want to spread that. I think that this is winter or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. It is winter. Let's check. Yes, we're in January, so it should be pretty cold and it will start to feel like winter. Of course, California winter, nothing compared to what the East Coast is going through. They're talking below freezing temperatures. Very different. We have some high cloud cover stream into the forecast earlier this afternoon, and that will continue to be the case overnight into tomorrow, getting a little cloudier as a result, getting a little cooler as well. Temperatures eventually sliding to below average territory as we head toward the weekend. And there is a possibility of rain, not a whole lot, maybe between a tenth of an inch and the higher elevations, possibly up to about half an inch of rain. So you'll see right here earlier today, very impressive. Downtown, you made it to 80. You didn't set a record today. You tied a record yesterday, but we did see a few records earlier today in Camarillo at UCLA as well. And Lancaster set a record low. We'll have those coming up in a bit, but you'll see we were well above average. Average is 68 degrees, so we are good 12 degrees above where we should be for this time of year. Over the next 24 hours, 50s, more 50s, and by the afternoon, we are up to the 70s, 76 degrees with cooler temperatures in the mix as we head into tomorrow. Still above average, still warm, 76 downtown, Ontario 79, Lancaster 68, and Oxnard 73 degrees by the time we hit tomorrow afternoon. So still a warm one by the beach. And in the basin in Orange County, we're in the 70s. And even by Friday, we're looking at a chance of showers, but it's going to be a warmer storm system. If we see anything at all, it's a cutoff low. So it's a little unpredictable, but we're leaving that chance through the weekend with a better chance as we head into your Sunday and as we head into your Monday. For the valleys in the Inland Empire, gradually cooling down day by day. And then by the weekend, cooler and wetter chance of showers and there's that chance of rain Sunday could last through your Monday. Lena, back to you. All right, Ed. And we're bracing for a chance of rain. Big changes on the way, of course. We'll have the details coming up. We really are. We really are. I think a lot of us are disappointed about the change in the forecast, but it could be a lot worse. Our friends on the East Coast or the Midwest, they're below zero. Not the case here at home. So there you go you feel a little better as we take you outside right now to the Santa Monica Pier. It's mild. We're still looking at a mix of cloud cover and clear night sky as well, but we are expecting more cloud cover on the way, cooler temperatures on the way and a chance of rain. We'll get there in a minute. We want to talk about record temperatures earlier today. UCLA, you broke a record at 82 degrees. Camarillo also breaking a record at 82 degrees. You broke a record yesterday as well. Lancaster got to record low. You were supposed to beat 17 degrees. You beat it by a degree, got down to 16 degrees. And we do have some cooling on the way, so it doesn't look like we'll have any record highs, at least not for a while. As we get a look at satellite radar, cloud cover already streaming into Southern California. And as we get a look at the big picture on satellite radar, rain sitting to our north over the Pacific Northwest, off the coast as well, off the Northern California coastline. That's eventually going to make its way potentially into our forecast in a matter of days. You'll see right here, increasing cloud cover, cooler temperatures, below average temperatures as we head toward the weekend. And that chance of rain possible, we could get about a tenth of an inch to maybe up to half an inch of rain. Earlier today, we made it to 80. That was for downtown. Average is 68, so we were well above average, and we got close to record numbers, but didn't quite make it. 84 degrees was the record to beat. You actually broke a record yesterday at 81. Not the case. By tomorrow, we're already a little cooler. We're down in the 50s, mid-50s and partly cloudy by the afternoon. We're a little cooler in the 
70s, but still above average at 76 for downtown. Burbank 77, Riverside 80, Irvine 79, Lancaster 68, and Oxnard. 73 degrees. So let's get a look at your forecast. We've got high pressure. This is starting to shift and as it does, we've got two lows coming our way. One cutoff low that may or may not bring some rain in the forecast. It's a little dodgier than the next chance of rain that should be coming our way as we head toward the weekend. So you'll see multiple chances right here. The first chance coming from the southwest, the next one coming from the north. That system a little colder and potentially a little more widespread. So let's get a look at future cast right here. It's set for five o'clock in the evening tomorrow. You're going to see just a little bit of rain sitting offshore and over the central coast. We're not really getting any, it looks like, even by 10 o'clock, but it's starting to inch closer and into the overnight hours and early morning hours on Thursday. Looks like we could get a little bit of rain there as we carry on through the early morning hours, 5 a.m. Still looks like we've got that chance of rain and maybe even around your morning commute in the mountains and deserts, we could get some rain as well. A little drier by the afternoon, 3 o'clock or so, a little drier, but as we head into the overnight hours into your Friday, looks like we've got another widespread chance chance of rain in the forecast and that will continue through your morning commute on Friday at this point and by one o'clock in the afternoon still looking at a widespread chance with maybe some heavier downpours over the mountains and potentially over the deserts as well. So we're leaving that chance of rain in the forecast for your Friday, your Saturday, your Sunday, even a better chance heading into your Monday, calling it mostly cloudy by Thursday. But again, we could start to get rain into the early morning hours and it could be drier again first thing in the morning. So maybe a few showers coming in before that before rather that next chance of rain Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So basically a chance on and off as we move through the week and the weekend. Lena and Rick back to you. Lena, we've got winter like weather indeed. It's going to be cooler. It's going to be cloudier. We're bracing for a chance of rain in the forecast. So we'll get there in a minute, of course, and we're going to take you outside right now to our Mount Wilson camera. You're going to see pretty clear conditions out there, but there is a little bit of a high cloud cover rather that's streamed in over the course of the day, and we're going to continue to see more of it as we head into tomorrow. Temperatures right now all over the board, 30s, 40s, 50s, even a few 60s, downtown 58, Riverside 61, Ontario at 60, Irvine at 57, Lancaster 38, and along the Ventura County coast, we're at 56 degrees, so somewhat mild. You'll see on satellite radar, there is a little more cloud cover in the mix, and that's going to continue to be the case over the next few days. High pressure is going to start to shift, and we've got a few low pressure systems, one sitting to our north, one sitting to our south. The first one potentially bringing in a few showers over the course of the next few days. The next one potentially bringing in some rain a little later in the week into the weekend. Between this all, we'll probably see maybe about a tenth of an inch to half an inch, so not a whole lot of rain over the next few days, but the possibility stands. You'll see earlier today we got up to 80 in downtown. Average is 68, so we were above average for this time of year, and we're going to keep things above average. Even broke a few records earlier today. Probably won't be the case tomorrow. Over the next 24 hours, increasing cloud cover. We're calling it partly cloudy. We'll see a mix of clouds and sun. We're jumping from the 50s to the 70s by the afternoon. We're still above average, but cooler than where we've been. 76 tomorrow for downtown Riverside, 80 Lancaster, 68 Oxnard, 70 degrees. Ladies, back to you. It was very nice while it lasted. Now temperatures are going to get a little cooler. It's going to get a little cloudier. We're bracing for a chance of rain in the forecast as well. You'll see right now it's dry though and it's pretty mild. Getting a look at Long Beach. We're in the 50s currently and you're going to see a little bit of high cloud cover starting to stream in. That happened earlier today and that will continue to be the case. Record temperatures won't though. Earlier today we set a record at UCLA 82 degrees. Camarillo also set a record at 82. Lancaster 16 degrees. No, that wasn't your forecast high. That was a record low into the overnight hours and there is some more cooling on the way. So we're going to get to those cooler temperatures in a minute, but you'll see downtown currently at 58 Riverside 61 Irvine 57 Lancaster currently a little cooler at 38 degrees. So as we get a look at our satellite radar right here, you're going to see a little bit of cloud cover mixed in with a bit of night sky and that will be the case tomorrow afternoon. It'll be a mix of clouds and sun and eventually it's going to get cloudier maybe even eyeing a chance of rain. There is some rain sitting offshore right now to our north, to our south as well. We could stand to get a little bit of that tomorrow night into the overnight hours, and we could get more later in the week into the weekend. As we get there, it's going to get a little cloudier, as we mentioned, of course, a little cooler, as we mentioned as well. Temperatures eventually going into above average territory or from above average territory rather to below average territory and rain bringing maybe between a tenth of an inch in half an inch, not a whole lot of it, 
but we are expecting it at this point. Earlier today, we made it to 80 in downtown. Average is 68, so we were above average for this time of year. And over the next 24 hours, we're in the 50s, more 50s, and by the afternoon, we're up to the 70s, 76 degrees and cooler temperatures in the mix, but still not too cool. At least not too cool for the next few days. We're in the 70s, eyeing a chance of showers Thursday into your Friday, Saturday and Sunday, another chance. And looks like Sunday could be the bigger storm coming from the north. So it's going to be a little colder, could be a little more widespread, and we could see a little more rain as we head into your Sunday, into your Monday potentially as well. Maybe even into your Tuesday. Some forecast models calling for rain through Monday, others through Tuesday. So as we move through the week, there'll probably be a little more agreement there. For the coast, we're in the 70s, turning to the 60s, with chance of showers lasting on and off throughout the week into the weekend as well. And for the deserts, we're mild, we're partly cloudy, and then it gets a little cooler, a little cloudier, and possibly a little rainier. Same thing goes for the basin and Orange County. Lena, Sylvia? And here at home, could be pretty frozen soon. Chance of rain, maybe even snow on the way. We'll have the details coming up. By the fire. Exactly. <laughs> Come to California. There you right. go. We might see snow, but certainly not, not 15 feet of snow. No, that's no. a lot. Too no. much. <laughs> yeah, and for us here, a bit of rain. For that either. Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll let you know what you expect. Uh, we are expecting cooler temperatures, though. We're also expecting cloud cover. It's to feel like winter again here in Southern California as we head into the next few days. Still warm now, things are gradually changing. So we'll have those numbers wavering in the upper 50s and the 60s now at 60. 62 Pasadena, 48 Wrightwood, 63 in San Bernardino, as we mentioned. So satellite radar showing you a little bit of cloud cover and a little bit of night sky as well. But that cloud cover started to sift in a little earlier today, and that's going to continue to be the case as we move day by day here. It's going to get cloudier and eventually it'll get a little cooler as well. Satellite radar showing you plenty of rain sitting off the shore of uh, the Pacific Northwest, Northern California, sitting just offshore here at home off the central coast and to our south. And as a result, it will move into our forecast potentially. We could see rain as we head into tomorrow night and a little later in the week and later in the weekend as well. Until then, again, cloudier, cooler, below average temperatures eventually, and rain a possibility, rain totals just about a tenth of an inch to half an inch at this point. 80 degrees earlier today in downtown. So we were above average, average is 68 and record numbers 84. And over the next 24 hours, we're expecting to see 50s up into the 70s by the afternoon. Sounds warm, but it's cooler than where it's been. We've been in the 80s in downtown, so we're dropping a few degrees to 76. We're still above average, which is 68. Burbank 77, Ontario 79, Lancaster 68, and Oxnard 70. So as we look at your forecast, high pressure is starting to exit the forecast. And as it does, low pressure is eventually going to start to dominate. We've got a cutoff low heading our way. So with that, rain chances are a little unclear. But there is a chance as we move through the week here. And a better chance coming from the north as we head toward the weekend. As we get a look at future cast, you'll see things are dry for now into tomorrow night, even into the overnight hours, maybe a few sprinkles. As we head into Thursday, models backing off a little bit, but we could see some scattered showers in the morning hours, drier conditions by the afternoon, next chance of rain coming our way by Friday. So essentially mostly cloudy on Thursday with maybe a few drops. That chance continues through Friday and Saturday with a chance of rain by the time we head into your Sunday, and it could last into your Monday. Lena and Sylvia, back to you. And we're bracing for a colder and possibly wetter forecast. We'll have the details. Uh, Maybe okay. the reporter just said that, so we didn't we didn't judge. I would hide. I would yeah. hide. Oh, I would yeah. Hide. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> oh, scary. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to switch gears. We've got a lot to talk about in the weather department. We've got big changes on the way. Colder weather, chance of rain, maybe some mountain snow as well. Right now, a few people enjoying this nice evening on the pier. Eventually, we could start to see wetter conditions around this time of night. So before we time out the rain for you, we want to talk about record temperatures that we saw earlier today. UCLA got up to 82 degrees. Camarillo, 82. Lancaster, record low at 16. Beat the previous record of 17 degrees. And we have 
more cooling on the way. So no more record highs for now. Temperatures in the 50s with a few 60s out there and a little cooler in the high desert. Lancaster 36, Oxnard 58. So the Ventura County Coastal Plain actually pretty mild this evening. Satellite radar showing you a bit of cloud cover out there. Not a whole lot of it. A lot of high cloud cover streamed in. So we did see some sunshine earlier today and by tomorrow we're still calling it partly cloudy. Eventually it's going to get cloudier and eventually we could see some rain enter the picture. We've got some rain sitting offshore to our south to our north as well and that can eventually push its way into our forecast pretty soon here. Until then increasing cloud cover a little cooler below average temperatures eventually still above average for now and rain a possibility between about a tenth of an inch and about a half an inch as we move through the week here. Earlier today 80 68 is average. We're still above average as we head into the next 24 hours. Downtown 76 Riverside 80 Lancaster 68 and Oxnard 70 three degrees as we head into tomorrow afternoon. So here's a drill. We've got high pressure. It's been sitting overhead, but it's going to start to break down and low pressure is going to start to dominate. We've got two systems to deal with one sitting to our south that actually cut off low that may or may not bring those rain chances to the area and we've got a heftier chance sitting to our north as this closed low will make its way into our forecast a little later in the weekend. Future cast set for five o'clock in the evening tomorrow still dry, but as we move through your Thursday morning, we could start to see a few showers as we head into your Friday as well. So there's a chance of showers Friday. We're calling it mostly cloudy on Thursday, but we could see a few morning showers by Saturday, a chance of showers and by Sunday, a heftier chance of rain that could materialize into snow in the mountains by Sunday and for the coast. Same thing goes dry for tomorrow, still above average temperatures cooling with a chance of rain for the remainder of the week. And same thing goes for the deserts. Back to you.